I'm not mad at all. I might be a little grumpy. You know, maybe Oddball left me in space. You know, forgot to leave me the coordinates of where I'm supposed to go in time machines and, you know, these plans of what's supposed to happen. But I don't know. But hey, I'm not mad. Greetings, Earthlings. It's Shane with Oddball Cards. And your time it is November 24, the day before Thanksgiving. Wishing you all a happy holiday. As usual, we have our quips and qualms from Ichthud. He's been working overtime to nitpick. He's been telling me that he's seen a 43% increase in the last two quarters of my opening of Panini products. I told him he is more than welcome to donate at any time to the cost of opening things. So just to keep him happy, we'll do an all tops mashup today. I did not uh, realize because that ball was a dum-dum. I was cleaning under my bed and there was a box uh, from Target. Didn't realize that bought any Series 2 to open. So this is this year's Series 2. There's Chris Bryant. Shout out to Don't Talk to Robots. Clint Frazier. Nathan Eovaldi. Let's see here. These names, I'm telling you. Ryan O'Hearn. We have a... A dude here. Shout out to Candido. Big Marlins fan. Alright. This is not working as well as I'd hoped. There we go. Vince Velasquez. Yeah. Keone. And a team card. Kind of fun card. Nope. Just St. Louis team card. Here's our Soto insert, a uh, Target exclusive, Fish Fry. We'll put that up there. Hey, there's a Trout. Always like seeing Mr. Trout. Probably the best player of my generation. Uh, some people would say Sandy Alcantara. Hey, there's a Cabrian, my guy. All right. You can cover up the Richard Pole. All right. Framber Valdez. Yeah. And a future stars of Dustin May. If he hits it big, I hit it big. I have just a ton of his rookie stuff. All right. His other quips and qualms are that uh, he had to fish me out of watching sneakers. Uh, what, about 1990s movie? We've already gotten a Cabrian. I can probably just sell the packs, the rest of the packs, but that's not how Oddball rolls. Brandon Belt, Giants had a real good year. Uh, Zach Grinky, another team card. Trout and Otani, didn't get to see enough of those two together. Andre Elton Simmons, man, when he was on the Braves and then the Angels, I thought he'd be the next Omar Vizquel, not with the difficulties. Hey, a backwards card. Miguel Sano follows me around. I love it. I love that Topps put this in here, kind of staving off the junk wax a bit. Out of 199. Cover up the Bellinger here. Creepy guy. She probably shouldn't have put him next to Kate Upton, but she seems like she can just karate chop him if he gets out of line. Nice home run derby of e Eugenio Suarez. Nate Pearson. Cover up Chris Carpenter. Loved that guy. All right, well, Ken Giles, Josh Naylor, and De Leclerc. Who is that? Tucker Barnhart got traded. Looks like Tyler Stevenson and Tyler Glasnow. Looks like Tyler Stevenson is going to get uh, most of the reps. All right, one more pack of this. Been successful. Definitely recommend the Target Mega Box. Haven't gotten that a flagship before. Usually I just get retail boxes. All right. Hunter Dozier. All the cards are in here willy nilly. A Dylan Cease was my pick to click. He didn't quite click. He didn't unclick. I do like the future stars. Here's a miscellaneous rookie. You can go there with Nate Pearson. Uh, World Series card? No. It's a nice picture of Zimmerman. All right. Josh Hader. Won't lie. Not to offend James Palmer or other Brewers fans, but I would trade the guy. His stock is sky high right now. 
James McCann. Got a nice uh, silver Kirby Puckett, 70 year. Yeah, it's just an insert, but it looks such classic. Ooh, look at that Pache. Still have high hopes for him. All right, future stars of Zach Gallen. And a miscellaneous rookie. All right. I got into, looks like, three packs of the Minor League Heritage. They come from the third stack. The episode two was erased, strangely, by a dum-dum passing by. All right, it was me. I'm a dum-dum. Uh, where is my opener? Here it is right here. These packs, I'm telling you. All right. So he uh, it also chastised me that I hadn't talked much about Bryce Harper uh, and his MVP. And I'll just say uh, I don't really like Bryce Harper, so I'm not going to talk much about him. I wish he were more consistent. Uh, I don't mind some swag, but uh, I've never really cared for him. Kudos to him for signing with the Phillies for a long-term deal, though. Hopefully it works out well for him long-term. All right. So, Austin Cox, Vaughn Grissom, Bobby Miller, traded Higuero. I think his Bowman doesn't save first, but it is a first. All right. Pirates picked him up. Compensation from the Diamondbacks. All right. That's pretty cool. Trenton Casas. Blaze Jordan. We'll put him up there. He was uh, one of the heroes. And... It Oh, and Casey, shout out to Chris from Canada. Haven't even bumped the can, uh, can camera yet, Chris. There's still time. All right. Julie Farnham, thanks for watching. Um, said you'd never opened any update. I'm sorry that it's kind of disappointing. Uh, not many people stopped by to view that one. But Curiosity was killing the cat. It was nice to open it. Nick Lodolo, JC Correa, Milan. Our inaction is Garrett Mitchell. Shout out again to James Palmer. Jared Schuster. Aaron Bracho. Tanner Burns. And an Austin Hendrick. Pretty cool. So, yep, I bought a hobby box of that. Opened one stack. Opened another stack. Uh, made the video. Deleted it. So, these are the half of the last stack. Just 18 packs in the hobby box. Good deal. It was only like $65. Probably would buy another one if I can find one. Michael Urbina. Jeremy De La Rosa. Anthony Cervedo. Hey, and there's our second auto. Tink Hentz. All right. Haven't heard of him. I don't know many Cardinals fans. Keone Cavaco. Matthew Libertor. Mike Ciani. And this guy's got a cool name. What's up, Shane Baz? All right. David Pert came to me the other day, and he said, Shane, the spaceman cometh. I was like, yeah, man, I really like that. That's catching on. Uh, you are the spaceman. Ooh, I like this backward. Oh, look at that. Out of four ninety nine. Really highly underrated guy. Oh, Michael Bourne. I thought it was Michael Brantley. Oops. Well, then we'll just say this is a nice looking card and I'm a dumb dumb. Even let you cover up Cabrian. That's why you buy the old stuff. Maybe you get something numbered or a parallel that's pretty cool. This one's a collisions of Yadier Molina. Uh, what's this here? Sliding stars. That's an interesting insert. Is that Ricky Henderson? Looks like him. Yes, it is. The man, the myth, the legend. Uh, David Pert said, I need a new, a cool car as a signature car as the spaceman. I was like, uh, hey, Darwin Barney. Uh, not too many people remember him. I do because I liked the defensive replacement bench guys. Uh, played for the Cubs for a while during some of their lean years. I got a Jackie Robinson and a Johnny Cueto. Pretty cool. Love opening these old Gypsy Queen packs. All right. So uh, he said, I need a bat cave or a fortress of solitude. I said, uh, there's a San Francisco sushi and bagel place. 
I'm thinking that you've been embezzling money when you time travel, David, because the name of the place is David's Fire Pew Pew. So I'm going to guess that that's David's place. Oh, we got a Lou Gehrig. Just love this uh, Gypsy Queen. I just have a couple packs left. Another Nathan Eovaldi. Our insert here. Sliding stars again. And that is Adam Jones. Oh, man, I liked Adam. I think he was with uh, Buck Showalter during some decent Orioles years when they made the playoffs. I know that's a fond memory now. David told me he needs a mascot. I don't know what you guys think. Probably some marmots. Maybe those raccoons uh, from a couple videos ago. Come on. Focus. There we go. A Wade Boggs. Shout out to Gradeworthy. He is a Mattingly Boggs super collector. All right. Last couple cards here. We're going to enjoy them because we're almost out of this product. It's been good to us. Kell of the Tigers, George Kell. All right. The 1949 AL batting champion. Look at all that history from Gypsy Queen. Love it. All right. And our last one here is Chris Sale when he was still a White Sox. When the uh, for the Red Sox had mortgaged their mortgaged their future to win the World Series. Uh, last, anybody's thoughts on a uniform for David Pert? Uh, not the black bodysuit, David. Uh, it's not flattering. Maybe a tuxedo. All right. Thanks for tuning in. And as have a happy holiday. And as always, oddball out. La 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 la. La 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 la.